Hello, how is everybody today? It is a fabulous Friday. Oh my gosh, it feels like summer around here in Michigan. Like finally, we're gonna hit like about 80 degrees. I got, I'm like, should I wear a sleeveless shirt on this Facebook Live? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I'm doing it because it's already getting hot in my house. I don't have air conditioning. And so this is how it's gonna be, um, but I love it. I love this time of year. Hopefully you guys are excited about um, another great summer, right? Um, so let's see what is going on. Well, big, big, big thing, right? The new annual catalog just went live on Tuesday this week. So hopefully you guys are all enjoying the new catalog and all the new products and you've got your orders in. Oh my goodness, it's been fun to um, see. Hey Paulette, how are you doing? It's good to have you on. Oh my gosh, and here I am. Okay, good, my little thing. Um, I get like notifications that, I don't know, something from Instagram. I'm like, go away. So I was gonna try to swipe it, but it went away on its own. So hey Sally, how are you doing? So yeah, we have a big um, dance weekend. It's recital, Lily has her recital this weekend. So we have, uh, let's see, rehearsal tonight and then uh, two shows tomorrow and then two shows on Sunday too. So it's a big fun weekend. She gets to do all of her dancing and yeah, um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's kind of a great culmination to, you know, they start back in September working on these dances. So it's a whole like year round kind of thing as far as preparation. So it's fun to see the, um, all the hard work come together for them. So um, yeah, and what else is going on? Oh, so next week we have the Simple Beautiful Card Class down at the Stamp Studio. Um, so it's Wednesday, uh, let's see, that's June 12th from 6 to 8.30 or Friday, June 14th um, from 1 until 3. So I'll be here for Facebook Live next Friday and that'll be shooting out the door to head down to the studio to um, have class. Um, so if you have any interest, I would love to have you come hang out and we're going to play with so much new product from our annual catalog. Um, you guys are going to love like seeing everything, kind of touch it, feel it, play with it, decide what you like. Um, yeah, Sally, fresh air is awesome, isn't it? Yes, I've got my windows open too. Um, or if you can't make it to live to the Simple Beautiful Card Class, if you put in an order and use the host code, I've got that on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Use that host code and I'll send you the projects for free that we make at class next week um, and then also don't forget I mentioned um, last week the designer series paper share and the in color club are both still open I keep those um, open I think um, actually what was my deadline so the designer series paper share um, RSVPs are due by Saturday June 29th so you can send me a message right on here um, email me or um, PayPal links are right on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com for the designer series paper share and to sign up for the in color club. So if you have any questions on either of those, please let me know, but I would love to get you signed up. Um, the designer series paper share, obviously that you get like basically a sample of all of the designer series paper in the annual catalog. So it's a great way to get like a little bit of everything and decide what you love and need some more of. Um, and then in color club, it's a great way to budget in over five months, get all of the colors, all of our new in colors. Hey, Denise, how are you doing? <laughs> Your first live, yay, I'm so glad you can join us. And hey, Sandra, how are you doing? I'm glad everybody's popping on this morning. Like I said, hopefully everybody's having, we have fabulous weather right here. And you know, I it makes me happy when we have fabulous weather. So hopefully you guys are having good weather wherever you are too. Um, okay, so I think I was saying, yeah, um, so the PayPal links for Designer Series Paper Share and the In Color Club, they're both at gatheringinspiration.com. So you can jump on right there and get everything you need or just email me or post me a message right here and I can help you out. I'd love to get you set up with any of those things. Um, oh, and then the other thing too. So um, we are doing what, what I called the Super Summer Giveaway. I kind of told you guys about that last week. Basically, it's like a promotion that I'm doing all summer long where you can get entries into a drawing that we'll do um, in the beginning of September for a new holiday catalog product. We're not even worrying about that right now, but holiday catalog, that'll be coming out at the end of the summer. Um, but anyway, basically, I wanted to make sure everybody knew if you post a picture of a project. So for example, these are the two cards that we made on Facebook Live last Friday. So if you case either the design, so like the layout of either of these cards, or if you use the stamp set um, and, and or framelits um, that we used on either of these cards, 
make sure when you post a picture of the project to our Facebook group here, you've used that hashtag and I want you to use, it's called Super Summer Giveaway. So hashtag Super Summer Giveaway. And then at the end of the summer, I'm gonna go through and pull up everybody's entries and put your name in the drawing. You get two entries into that Super Summer Giveaway drawing just for basically either using the layout or the stamps that are framelits that we used on these cards. So this week now, um, obviously today, I'm gonna to do some new projects. So I'll show you those in just a little bit. And if you either use the stamp setter framelits or the layout that I used and make a project yourself, post it here to our Facebook group using that hashtag super summer giveaway and your name will go in the drawing at the, and like I said, that's at the end of the summer. So all summer long, you can be getting entries into the drawing. I'm gonna give away some awesome holiday catalog product, okay? Um, I always have so many good things to tell you guys about, um, but I think we are ready. Let's do our first drawing, okay guys? Um, so this drawing was for, the lighting is weird today, I think, because you know it's gonna be, it's sunny, right? So these are those in color faceted dots, right? So we've got uh, Pretty Peacock, Purple Posy, um, mm, Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray, and Terracotta Tile. Hey Tammy, how are you? So anyway, your name went in the drawing right here in my little paper pumpkin bag. You got one entry for commenting on Facebook Live. You got three entries if you shared the video or if you tagged a friend saying, hey, check out Amy on Facebook Live. Um, you got three entries if you're brand new to me and you signed up for my email list. And then the random day that I picked was Thursday. So just yesterday, any post that I did that you commented or shared got three entries. And then if you posted a picture of a project that you made on Thursday, you got three entries in the drawing. So lots and lots of entries in here. We're gonna shake these around. And that's how I do it every single week. So all those ways you can get lots and lots of entries in the drawing. And let's see, our winner is, oh my goodness, who is it? Deborah Dempsey. Oh my goodness. Yay. So Miss Deborah, I do not have your mailing address yet. So you're going to want to um, either email me or send me a message with your address and I will get your um, your new in color faceted dot sent out to you. So congratulations, Deborah Dempsey. Okay. And let's see, Sally. Uh, yes, scrapbook orders are in. I just need to get them put together, to be honest with you. It's been one of those crazy weeks, so I'll let you know as soon as you can come pick those up, okay? Um, all right, let's see. What else, what else? Oh, yeah, okay, so I'm like, eh. yeah, we're good, we're good. Um, so I also wanted to show you guys, you guys wanna see, this is what we're gonna give away um, on next Friday's Facebook Live. This is the Terracotta T not terra yeah terracotta tile right i'm all like what's the name i'm still kind of struggling with being really quick on my quick on my feet quick in my my, my tongue <laughs> with these uh in color names so um yeah so terracotta tile this is the scalloped linen ribbon i've showed you guys this a couple of times but this is beautiful ribbon this is what we're going to give away on next week's facebook live okay so comments shares tag a friend if you're new to me and you sign up for my email list and then if you basically just post a picture of a project um, any day this week you never know what day i'm going to draw in terms of the random draw day so just post post away as many projects as you would like um, and then if you case to or well, if you use the same layout or stamps that are framelits, use that hashtag, the super summer giveaway. And then you kind of get, it's like double dipping. You could get your name in the drawing for this ribbon and then for the other super summer giveaway drawing at the end of the summer. So awesome, right? Lots of good ways to win around here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying all of those ways you can get free stuff from me. Um, okay, let's see. <clears throat> what else do I have to tell you guys about? Oh, well, let's see, I have a, a new downline member, Miss Kathy Miles. Congratulations and welcome to the Inkspired Stampers group. She just took advantage of the, it's always an awesome starter kit deal. You guys know, right? So no, the normal starter kit deal, which I said, like I said, is awesome. You pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. Then, actually, and there's no shipping too, so it's like an amazing deal. Um, but then you can get um, your demonstrator discount on your orders. Like basically, as soon as you sign up to get the starter kit, then you can get um, 
you can put an order in like as soon as you get your demonstrator ID and password, which it looks like that's what Kathy did because she put in a, a really nice order, I think, to get a whole bunch of probably new um, annual catalog product. And then she got her discount. She got 20% off of everything that she ordered. So if anybody has any interest, I love um, welcoming new um, team members into our group, into our team, to our Inspired Stampers group. So like I said, congratulations and welcome Miss Kathy Miles to the Inspired Stampers campers um okay let's see i feel like i'm just like breezing right through everything hey rosemary how are you doing you can't watch for long <laughs> oh oh no you hit a deer oh that's a bummer i did that um gosh oh that's a crazy story like literally my daughter lily and my niece bryn were in the back seat um, of the car with me and we're like cruising down the highway. I was going like 80 miles an hour because we can do that It's like 75 miles an hour like on our highway right here And all of a sudden out of nowhere like this deer is like in like, you know <laughs> Like literally right there in front of my face. I see him and he was a smallish deer But you know going 80 miles an hour. He had no chance but the car the girls in the back said Mom, it felt like the car jumped when we hit that deer, and I think it was just that impact. Um, but it did enough damage that basically, and my car was old enough that it basically totaled my car when we hit that deer. So everybody was okay. We were able to pull off on the side of the road. Basically, all the lights came on and everything kind of shut down, and I just kind of uh, veered off to the side of the highway. So it was like one of those super crazy experiences. So Rosemary, when you talk about hitting a deer, like I just never really worried about it. And now I'm always like, Lily, keep an eye out. Help me watch for deer. Cause you just, you know, you just never know. I, I used to be one of those invincible people, I guess. And you know, the older you get, you realize, no, that's, you're not invincible. Those deer can find you anywhere. So I'm sorry you have a, had a, um, problem with the deer too, Rosemary. Hopefully you're okay and your car is going to not require too much work to get it back to good as new, right? Um, okay, so let's see. Oh, um, last week I had announced, excuse me, a <clears throat> um, little tickle in my throat there, um, that I was going to give away that everything is rosy. This is um, the bundle, the stamp set and the framelit. So this is the, the product that's no longer available any longer, but I did. And so you know what, guys? I only had one online order, so I don't even have to do a drawing. The winner of the Everything is Rosie bundle is Miss Linda Dana. So thank you, Linda, for your online order. And you guys, you should really be ordering because I'm giving away so much good stuff. Basically, she put in an order, right? So she gets product that was probably about the value of her order for free right here plus she's going to get the two cards that we made on facebook live last week and then she's going to get a free embellishment which actually for june i decided was going to be these in color faceted dots because i know everybody loves these things and is excited to get all the new um in colors so basically for linda's online order she is getting all of these goodies sent to her so it's crazy right so much free stuff so and i'm going to tell you guys i was I always struggle with like, do I share this stuff or not? But um, I have been struggling a little bit with the online orders. I um, hope I'm giving good incentives and I really, really, really appreciate all of your orders. Um, so if you have any inclination, I know the new catalog is just out and everybody's got a budget too, I understand that. So when you can, I would love um, for you to put an online order and make sure you use that host code because then your name goes in the drawing, you get the projects that I make um, or that I demonstrate this week. And then um, if you get your order up to at least $50, you always get that free embellishment too. So hopefully, like I said, I'm giving good rewards for those orders. I really, really, really appreciate them. And I, I would love, um, you know, if you're enjoying Facebook Live and you're enjoying the projects and the products, I would love for you to put that online order in and select me as your demonstrator. So I, I do appreciate that, guys. Thank you very much. Um, and I'm seeing what's Rosemary. Oh, oh, you did hit him on the highway too. Oh my goodness. Huh. Yeah, that's so scary, Rosemary. I'm glad that you said you're fine, so I'm glad. It's, yeah, it's scary. Like I said, I just never really worried much about it. And yeah, once those things happen, right, then they're like on your brain. So I'm glad you're okay though. Um, okay, so this week, guys, um, let's see, let me make sure. 
I have everything, yep, okay. This week we are gonna give away, this is the package of the 2018-21, the In Color Designer Series paper. So this is what your name will go in the drawing if you put the online order in and use the host code. I'll give you the host code in just a little bit, and just so you guys know, it's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? So you don't have to jot it down right now while you're doing Facebook, or while we're doing Facebook Live, you can catch it later. Um, on my blog. So I'm trying to kind of open this up for you guys because I love, it's all about in colors right now, isn't it ladies? Loving all of our new in colors. So those are not going to cooperate with me. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Well, that's kind of the blues. We can't see the seaside spray. There we go. That's kind of it, right? Okay. Hey Nikki, how are you doing? So this is the in color designer series paper, six by six paper. Basically, we have the gingham and then some cursive writing on one side. And then on the other side, we have what Sandra reminded me is the chicken wire. And then we have um, the diamonds here too. So four patterns, you know, front and back, five different colors. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I know. Finally getting to wear um, like good fun summery stuff. And I think Philomena, I saw you pop. Everything's like happening so quickly. But hey, Philomena, I'm sure you popped on. And hey, Amy Jo, how are you today? So guys, like I said, this is what we're going to give away next week. I'll draw for the In Color Designer Series paper stack with your order just um, put that um, online use the host code and your name could be drawn for this awesome pack of designer series paper okay um oh okay so i shared this so hopefully i'm like so excited about our product of the week this week the um above the clouds bundle so i shared the other day i can't even remember what day now um, but this was the, a card that i made with the above the clouds um, bundle for a swap that i participated in so it feels really weird like the lighting let's see is that any better over there I think it is a little bit, but this is some of the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper, which I love. And then this is that cute little balloon in the basket. And then the sentiment says, you're off to great places. So hopefully you guys can kind of see that. So this card, I did a YouTube video on just to, you know, I know I'm all about simple stamping. So it's never like the, whoa, like serious wow um, in what I create usually. I know that <laughs> and I'm okay with that. But I love to do the videos just to even kind of show you how I stamp and then give you the dimensions, uh, measurements, everything you need, you know, to make this card too. So hopefully if you haven't checked that out already, if you go to Gathering Inspiration, um, my YouTube channel, um, you'll see this video along with, I put the In Color Club um, cards and video on there too. And I'm gonna, I'm trying to be better. I wanna make more videos. So I'm gonna try to be uploading more videos more regularly for you guys too. So keep an eye out for those, okay? Um, but yeah, and I love the sequins too. There was something about having the little sprinkle of sequins on that. Can you guys kind of see them on there? Yeah, a little sprinkle of sequins. So check out that video for more info on that card. And then I'm going to show you guys, I feel like I went through that all really quickly. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm already going to, because I have so much I want to show you guys, but it's, I think um, it's going to be better to have the camera down. So we're going to flip the camera down. I have swaps. So like I said, I made this swap and sent it out. And then I got, um, actually, is this one? Anyway, whatever. I did, I participated in three different swaps. So I have two of my swaps back and another one will probably be coming in the next week or so. So I have so many awesome new projects to share with you guys that I didn't make, which is even kind of more fun. Cause like the, these swaps, I was blown away by, uh, you know, the projects um, that people made and shared with everybody. So I think you guys are really going to like these too. So turn your heads away for a quick sec. I am going to um, put the camera down so we can see lots of other awesome things. Okay, so bear with me one sec. Oops, I hit the volume. I don't think that really matters though, hopefully. Okay. Um, that one, right? <laughs> All of a sudden I'm blanking out like, which button do I push? There. Oh yeah, we are going to have funny glares today. I can just tell. Oh well. Okay. Nah, I think we're going to be alright. Okay. So, you know what I'm going to show you guys first though? 
I did, I, I finished finally my um, class to go kit for this month. So I wanna show you guys that before I do anything else. So you may have seen, I did just upload that onto YouTube also, but I wanna show you guys everything that is included. So it features the Above the Clouds bundle, of course, that's why I picked it as my product of the week because I wanted to show you guys fun projects all week long. And then as I was doing that, I was working on my um, class to go. So this class includes, it's the Above the Clouds stamp set and the Hot Air Balloon Punch. This comes as a bundle. Um, you also get, and I don't have, this is more than a package, more or less, I guess. These are the Gingham Gala sequins. They worked really, really well on these cards. Um, so I had a lot of fun. There was something just, like I said, about putting sequins all over these cards. I really loved doing that. Um, so you get a package of the Gingham Gala sequins. This is, mine are all such a mess. I probably had four or five different packs and these are the colors that we use. So that's kind of what I have there. You also are gonna get a bolt of the Whisper White Baker's Twine in your class to go kit. I'm gonna show you the colors of ink that we use just so you guys know that too. So we used, the one brand new color is the Seaside Spray ink pad. So you've, if you don't have this yet and you get the to-go kit, make sure that you order the Seaside Spray ink pad. I can help you get that too um, and add it to your to-go kit if you'd like. And then we used Crumb Cake ink and then a few others. Sorry, I went kind of crazy. We used So Saffron, Highland Heather, Pear Pizzazz, Petal Pink, uh, Soft Sea Foam, and Grapefruit Grove. So like I said, a bunch of ink pads we used um, on the class to go. Now, you guys wanna see the cards and then I'll tell you the different options um, that are available. Oh, and yes, the colors are gorgeous, aren't they, Philomena? Okay, so you will get all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. So you'd make two of this one that says, let your dreams soar. And as always, you can always change out um, you know the sentiments if you want to use a different one and then you're gonna make two of this one says you're off to great places so there's our second card and then this one with our new seaside spray love that with the scalloped linen ribbon um, the little baker's trying to use that on a few cards and then more of the sequins too are on there so two of that card and then last but not least I love this one with the new delightful tag topper punch. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm too busy looking at it and realizing it's not in the view there. So then you'd make two of this one that says, we rise by lifting others, which I absolutely love that sentiment. <laughs> okay. Um, here I am laughing because I, you guys, like I was trying to like decide if I wanted to stamp on the card itself and I didn't like how that was turning out. So <laughs> my card is like a total mess. Um, I noticed that on the video that I made too. I flipped it over and I was like, ooh, whoops. But you know, yours won't look like that, I promise. Okay, so these are the different options for the class to go. Option number one is the Above the Cloud stamp set and um, the Hot Air Balloon Punch. You also get a pack of the Gingham Gala sequins, and then I'm throwing in for free the White Baker's Twine with option number one, plus all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, so eight cards total, and the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step colors, sizes, how to put everything together, and literally I write that PDF as I am putting the card together. So it's literally how I put my card together. So I hope that's super helpful for you too. Let me scoot those up a little bit more. So option number one is $62, okay? Option number two is if you don't want the punch, I will punch all those balloons out, then you just have to stamp inside there with your above the cloud stamp set, okay? So option two is the stamp set, the sequins and the baker's twine, and then all eight cards, two of each of these four cards, plus the PDF tutorial. Option number two is $50. Then option number three is if you already have the stamp set and the punch, just make sure you only pick option number three if you already have the stamp set because it cannot do your stamping for you, okay? So no bundle, basically it is the sequins and the baker's twine and then all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. Option number three is $32. Now let's see, option number one, two, and three um, you can select the studio pickup and then the shipping fee is waived. Or if you need it sent to you, it's just an additional $8 to have a priority mail shipped to you, okay? Option number four is if you don't want any product, you just want the PDF tutorial that tells you, like I said, step-by-step, -step, colors, dimensions, everything you need to know 
on how to make these cards. Option number four, the PDF tutorial is always $15 and that's always available even after the RSVP deadline passes. And then option number five is for any of my Inkspired stampers, anybody in my downline, you can get the make and take supplies to make these cards. You're gonna wanna order your stamp set and punch on your own to get your discount, your demonstrator discount. Um, but you just get them all the parts and pieces, right? It's $12 for the make and takes um, if you're an Inkspired stamper. And if you're not an Inkspired stamper, if you become an Inkspired stamper and get that starter kit, you can always get the to-go kits from me um, those, um, the make and takes basically for that $12 fee. And you also get the PDF tutorials every single month for free from me as well for, for being a member of my downline. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, the other thing, just in case you've already ordered, say the above the cloud stamp set and punch, and you want to pick like option number one or two, you can substitute. We'll just figure out what the product value is. You find something else that you want. We can still get you, um, the to go kit, um, so that you can make these fun cards. Okay. Registration ends in two weeks. It's on Friday, June 21st, and all the kits will ship out absolutely no later than Wednesday, July 3rd. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to get one of these fun kits sent out to you. I think you're gonna love such a cute stamp set. Have you guys seen it? Maybe I'll have to show you real quick. So I love the balloons, right? And then the shading there. Um, and then all the other little, like the little um, clouds and the other little balloons and the flag, right? And then we've got that sentiment, you're off to great places. I love that one, right? We rise by lifting others. That's my absolute favorite. Life is a beautiful ride. Let your dreams soar. And then hi, friend. So cute, cute, cute stamp set too. Okay, let me scoot these things out of the way. Grab a quick sip of water. And, okay. I am gonna grab, let's put this out too, just so you guys, while, while I'm getting organized, right? Here's that host code, the G7R2SRES. So there's the host code to use for orders this month, okay? Um, let me make sure, I've got a little sticky note here to remind me to make sure that I have everything. So the punch, seaside spray, crumb cake, and oh, I need, Okay, yep, here we go. <laughs> so it, um, when I have things to show you, yeah, I think that's gonna work all right. Okay, which one do I wanna show you first? So I'm gonna show you one of the cards that we're gonna make. Am I gonna do that? No, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you first, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my swaps that kind of relate to yeah, let me back it up. Okay, so I am. I'm going to show you the cards. So this is one of the cards that I'm going to make for you guys today. And I have to tell you, uh, one of my favorite people's blogs to go to is Erica Serwin at Pink Buckaroo. You guys probably all know her because I talk about her all the time. Because honestly, pretty much every project she makes, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I want to make that too. So I didn't do her card exactly. I used the layout and then I kind of changed things up a little bit. And I love, this is, and I'm... I'm trying to remember. I'm gonna to have to double check. What is the name of, yeah, it's called the Come Sail Away. I didn't wanna misprint, not mispronounce it, but miss say it. Yep, Come Sail Away Designer Series Paper. So I love that kind of stripey nautical. It's kind of like, you know, um, hot air balloon at the beach, or I think of like parasailing um, is kind of what I had in mind too with the kind of color um, combination on there, right? Okay, so this is what I'm going to make in just a few minutes, but I wanted to show you guys because there were some other fun um, things to share with you guys. So this is um, fairly close to a full pack of the Come Sail Away Designer Series paper. So you can see this is the pretty kind of stripey and then these are lighthouses on that side, if you haven't seen that one yet, okay? And then, sorry, what else do we have here? We've got, oh, you know what? We're gonna just pull it out, okay. Whatever that's called, compass? <laughs> sorry, brain, mo brain fart moment. And then, oh, it's kind of like a map kind of in a pretty, that looks like old olive to me, I'd say. Ooh, and this is cool too. I can see a lot of, and I have seen a lot of awesome masculine projects. I'm gonna just kind of flip this like this. So kind of a vintage newspaper print look 
almost. And then, oh, some rope, some nautical rope. That's very pretty, right? I love the stripes. Let me move that over a little bit more. That's kind of a little bit more even, right? Um, yeah, I really wanted to use that paper, um, but I also really wanted to use my seaside spray. And I thought the navy worked really well with the seaside spray. This is actually balmy blue in that stripe. I think I could have cheated, but I don't know that I like to do that. I like to use the colors that truly coordinate. Sometimes you can kind of bend them a little bit. Um, but let's see. Oh, this is fun. It's almost like, I don't want to, it's not seaweed, right? But it, it's almost like something you might find um, in the water, right? And then some pretty sailboats. Very, very pretty. More stripes. Oh my gosh. I didn't, I haven't really paid that much attention to this paper yet. So this is really fun to show you guys. This almost is like ticking, right? Like, um, is it mattress ticking? That's kind of what that looks like. I think those pretty stripes there too. Let me get up a little bit there. Now you guys can see it because it's got a little bit of texture in the stripes almost. And then what else do we have? Oh, some more. These are like, <laughs> I want to say protractor. Is that what it is? I don't know. They're instruments. Maybe they're sailing instruments. And then here's that first page that we used on the project I'm going to show you guys. So beautiful, awesome, nautical, stripey, masculine. I would say we always need some masculine um, product, right, for our projects. So come sail away designer series paper. And now I have to show you guys some of the swaps that I received that also used. So it's the come sail away designer series paper. And then, you know what I wanna show you guys first though? Hold on one sec. Cause I think this was so cool that Stampin' Up! did this. So now I can finally show you the catalog. And if you guys do not have one of these catalogs yet, please let me know. I would love to get one sent out to you. Um, I just love flipping through the pages. For me, it's so much more fun to do this um, than go online and look at pictures. I mean, you know, there are lots of great pictures online too, but I love the feel of the catalog in my hands, right? Okay, so, but what I was starting to say was I love how Stampin' Up! at the very front of the catalog gives us let me scoot that up and over a little bit. A bundle index. This is the coolest thing that they could have done for us, right? So each time they show you the stamp set and the framelits um, that go together in the bundle, or sometimes there's a stamp set and a punch, okay? So if you flip back, and we've got quite a few bundles in here, right? On, um, gosh, is it one more? Yeah, it is. So the Sailing Home Bundle is on page 145. And I love, because this is kind of a quick, easy reference, you can always refer in the back. You guys know this, right? So there's an accessory index, kind of everything other than stamps and where you'd find the pages that those things are on. And then there's also a stamp index. So what I was struggling with, with was I didn't know the name of the stamp set that went with that Come Sail Away Designer Series paper because I don't have it yet. So it's hard to look through here and figure out which one it is. So I thought, oh, hey, I can look in the bundle index at the front of the catalog. And when I see the framelits and the stamp set, oh, I'll know it's the Sailing Home Bundle. And then you can go to page 145, okay? So let me show you guys that. So here, this is the full kind of sweet, actually, the Come Sail Away Suite. And this is another really, really cool thing. I love that they did this for us. So can you guys see, they give one item code for the Come Sail Away Suite, so you can get everything in the suite. Um, they give you the item code and the price. So in this case, the Come Sail Away Suite item code and 94.75, and you get everything that they list out here. So you get the stamp set and the dies and the embossing folder and the designer series paper and the memories of more card pack and the baker's twine and the sail away trinkets all for one price. So you don't have to put all those numbers in on an order. Just put in the 152175 number right up at the top and they get, will give you everything that you need. They also give you the bundle down here too. And then aren't these projects beautiful? So, so much good inspiration. The other thing that I liked about this particular suite was there are actually two different stamp sets that they kind of use to coordinate with things. So they've got the Sailing Home stamp set and the A Good Man stamp set. And these all work really, both of these stamp sets work really well with that paper, okay? So what I have to show you guys are the cards that I received, all the swaps, because some people chose to use the Sailing Home set and some people chose to use the A Good Man set. 
So can you guys see, I'm trying to make sure you can get the details. Love all the designer series paper and this says set sail in the direction of your dreams. Plus I love that framelit. <laughs> you know, a lot of times I have to buy the framelit sets just because I want those label kind of things. And as I'm looking, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's another one here too that thanks is kind of like a little, I have to lift that up so you guys can see. Have you seen that? That's another one that thanks on the little banner back there. And then here is the other little label. Then it, so of course I'm gonna have to get those framelits because I love <laughs> I love those things too. She used some of the um, nautical baker's twine there and then a bunch of designer series paper. Oops, over here, Amy. <laughs> I keep doing that. I'm looking at it, but you can't see it very well. <laughs> okay. Oh, Sally, I'm tempting you. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get in trouble for that. Uh, and then this is cool, right? She kind of ripped the paper and then sponged it so it looks like, and then she stamped it um, with, it doesn't look like it's a stamp from either of those sets, so we'd have to find, but kind of looks like sand, right? And then love that framelit again. And then these are beautiful too, aren't they? With the lighthouse and the anchor. And then more of the twine with little birds flying. And I love how she did this too. That's a different um, kind of card layout, I think, right? Oh, and maybe I should mention, so this one, this swap, was from Kay Cogbill at Paper Made Prettier. She's awesome. And then this card is from Laura Bartow. It doesn't look like she has a um, blog listed on there. And then this one, isn't this cool? And with my, I love that stripey paper. And then I love how she did that too. It's funny because I haven't looked that closely at these, but she, I'm trying to figure out how, maybe she did that herself. It looks like it's truly like on the sea, right? And then, ooh, one of those little trinkets too. Are those called, I think those are the, the sail away trinkets. Let's see. Yep, sail away trinkets. Aren't those cool? Look at that, oh, I love that. And all the detail, the pretty coloring that she did on there. This is from Lynn Streifert. Um, and what else, what else, what else? This one, okay, so this one they chose to use the other. Those were all kind of nautical. This one is a good man. Actually, she used both. A good man right here, and then the sailing home um, for that sailboat right there, so. <laughs> you have a two-page wish list, huh, Sally? I think most of us are with you right now. This is a tough time of year. Another one of those cute trinkets, and then you're the best. Isn't that cute? And then all the beautiful coloring that she did on that one. And this swap is from Judy Garza. And then the last, I think this is the last one. Yep, it goes this way. Another one of these awesome um, trinkets, right? I love those things with that baker's twine. It's so pretty. And then I love how she, so this is a great way to show a bunch of different patterns of the designer series paper. And then she did the stamping there too and kind of offset that. Um, so isn't that cool? And this one is from Lori Healing. Um, what is she, what's her, let's see, it says confessions of, Confessions of a stamping addict.com. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I think we could all relate to that stamping addict, right? <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys, I'm like, look at, oh, and, and I guess a lot of people like that stripey paper too, right? Um, beautiful, beautiful designer series paper, right? Okay, so let me, yeah. I have notes over here and I keep kind of looking at them so I'm getting myself a little bit confused, but I think I'm all right here. Okay, I need a sip of water real quick, so bear with me one sec. And let's start doing some stamping. Okay, so grab my grid paper. Put, let's get this so I know that we're in view, right? Okay. So let's make this card, all right? You guys ready to see? Super cute, simple project. Okay, got a couple things here that we need. <laughs> a couple, I actually feel like there's quite a lot here. <laughs> of course, let me get all my ink out too, okay? And my stamps, oh my gosh, you guys, it is so bright and sunny and beautiful. I love it. Okay, let me give you dimensions because then I won't get sidetracked too much. Okay, so this is a piece of, this is our Seaside Spray, brand new in color, right? 
the eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches right there. And then along the uh, 11 inch side, we scored it in half at five and a half inches, okay? So we have our nice crisp fold on our card. Then we have a piece of the Come Sail Away Designer Series paper with those cool lighthouses on the other side. This piece measures two and a half by five and a quarter inches. And then these are all just scraps to do our stamping and die cutting on. So let's go ahead and do some of that. Um, we basically are just gonna stamp our balloon. On, so this is our Seaside Spray cardstock. We're gonna use our Seaside Spray ink pad. And I've got my balloon. Oops, almost like I had a little smudge on there. We're gonna just stamp that guy right on there. So let's punch him out first. I haven't figured out, there's probably a way to figure out how to stamp that guy right in the same place. I haven't tried it all, but somebody else has already figured that out. But that's okay. I am just going to, so this was kind of my little trick was because I, that's the little basket right there. So I'm gonna stamp this right in the corner. I just, can you guys kind of see, I just kind of lined that up to figure out what angle my paper is gonna go in at. So then I can stamp my little basket. I think I did it about like that. We'll see. I'll be able to make it work. We're gonna just kind of slide that little baby. Can you guys see that? We're gonna slide that one in right there. Okay. All right, scooting those little guys out of the way because I don't need those. Okay. All right. Keep those things over there so I don't lose them. So now I wanna do my die cutting with my stitched shape circle and my new, these are awesome. This was the, so the other um, uh, bundle that I ordered had the stitched nested labels dies. So I got the free as a bird stamp set and then the stitched nested labels dies as the bundle because I, I knew I had to have these. I loved, I mean, I liked, I guess I'll say I liked the bird stamp set, but I loved these framelits. And then now I've used that bird stamp set a bunch and I am, I am really happy that I got it, but I really needed these framelits was the main reason that I ordered them. So, okay, so we are going to, actually we're using these on both of our projects. So let me make sure I get the right one. So we need the bigger, so this is the second largest stitched nested label die, okay? And then just from a regular stitch shape framelits that hopefully never ever leave us, I need, that is the largest circle in that set of dies. Okay, I'm gonna grab my big shot. And whoopsie daisy, Put this guy, you guys see what we're doing? Okay, let's get this out of the way. And I think I should be able to get both of these on at once, so we've got that one there, and got my circle, okay? So those look good there. All right, we are cranking the handle. Whoops, oh, that is, that is tougher. Usually I go through long ways with this one, going this way rather than that way. Um, it just kinda, that big ridge that I had to get over, I kinda felt that. Hey, Hope, how are you doing? New grandma, right? Congratulations. That baby's pretty darn cute. Okay, scooting these guys, keeping them. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna scoot this big shot out of the way. But I do need to, I gotta put my frame back in here because I need it for the next card we're making also. Okay. All right, now we can do our stamping. So a lot of times I say that you should do your stamping and then your die cutting, but this was one that I really wanted to be able to place things, um, you know, like get my little balloon and put him on there and then decide where my birds were flying. So let's do that, okay. So I have crumb cake ink. This was crumb cake cardstock too, if I did not mention that already. So we've got our little birdies. We're gonna do one set of birds there. And maybe one set of birds there, okay? And that's all we need for that one. We are also going to use our Night of Navy ink. 
And hey, Sherilyn, how are you doing? I think I saw something about a message from you, and I apologize. I haven't had a chance to look into that. So as soon as I can, I will do that and let you know. Okay. So I've got my little high friend stamp, and I'm going to put that right about there. So cute. Look at, like, oh my gosh, can you guys see that? I love that. It's just a sweet little high friend. Such a cute little stamp, right? Then I kind of placed this guy on here so that I could figure out where I wanted. So with my Knight of Navy ink, and then I just started putting a few hearts around there, and then a couple more down. I'm trying to be really delicate. Maybe one right there. I don't know, I kind of went crazy. I really liked those super cute, sweet little hearts, right? Okay. I'm glad you caught us live today too, Sherilyn. That's awesome, and I'm. it sounds like you're feeling good today. I'm glad to hear that. Um, okay, I think we are ready to, are we ready? I think we're ready to put things together. Let's see, we'll start, and if I miss something, it'll, it'll become very apparent very quickly, right? Okay, so we are going to put our adhesive on the back of our awesome some Come Sail Away stripey designer series paper. I'm envisioning some really fun scrapbook pages with this designer series paper. Now, I wanted to lift both of these things. I wanted to attach that, and then we're gonna lift them both up on dimensionals. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive to get this piece placed maybe right about there. Making sure that your high friend is straight. That was my main thing. The birds can be flying in you know, lots of different directions, right? Then I am going to put my balloon on with some dimensionals, okay? And we've got this one there. So we're gonna put that right there. And then I didn't lose it, did I? Nope, I didn't. Okay, my little basket, my teeny tiny little basket. I need one of my teeny tiny little mini dimensionals. We're gonna put that right on there. Okay, and carefully, <laughs> eventually, I'm gonna get the back of this one pulled off. Oh my goodness, okay. They're really not that difficult either. Just when you're doing a live video. And then we're gonna put that right there. Okay, now I'm gonna put some dimensionals. I did, yeah, I did pop that up. Now we're gonna put some dimensionals around the back of all of this. I love to do that where I'm overlapping the white and the crumb cake there. I think that helps make sure that everything stays together well. I'm gonna press firmly on those, and then we'll peel the backs off of these guys. So you can see this is another very cute, simple layout, loved. Um, and I love too, because on my class to go, I didn't really think about stamping. I saw where Stampin' Up stamped, um, I think it was on Stampin' Up or maybe Pinterest, where they would stamp the balloon on designer series paper, but I didn't see it kind of tone on tone stamped like that. Um, so when Erica showed that, I really thought, okay, that's a good way to use that. Because I kept stamping kind of the outline and then kind of coloring in, if you will, with the other stamp. Does that make sense? I kept stamping with either one of these and then with an, like I would stamp off with this kind of lighter shading inside either of those to give it the color. But I love stamping right on the designer series paper too. I thought, oh, you know how sometimes things just don't occur to you and then you see them and you're like, well, yeah, of course that makes sense, right? Okay, so the one thing I did wanna show you guys was um, this I think would be a great card to do for Father's Day. So I did also stamp, if you can see, I've got my world's best father with one of the little classic label punches, and I did put some mini dimensionals on that. So you could always, instead of high friend, maybe just don't do that. You could put that little world's best father right down there too. And that is from last month's class to go stamp set, the itty bitty greeting stamp set. 
So there's that world's best father, and then obviously lots and lots of others. So if you ordered that class to go, you've got this stamp set. You could make this card with your balloon stamp set, your above the clouds, or you could use any of the greetings or sentiments in that itty bitty greetings stamp set too. I thought that was kind of a neat um, idea because especially with these colors, I thought it looked like a, you know, like a great uh, Father's Day card. And then this is that nautical, well, I guess, yeah, they're calling it, I'm calling it nautical, but the Knight of Navy and Sahara Sand Baker's Twine. So we are going to just pull this off. I always work with this on the bolt. I never cut a little strip and then um, try to tie it because I want to have enough you know, to kind of pull and push to make my bow the size that I want. So I'm just going to put that little bow, make that up, right? And get those little tails the size that I want. Make sure that looks good. Okay, I'm going to grab my scissors, snip that off, and then I'm just going to use a mini glue dot to pop that little baby on there. Oh, so cute. There's just something so fun. I know I've said this 10 million times, but the reinvigoration of playing with new colors, the new seaside foam and the new products, that really pretty designer series paper and the fun above the cloud stamp set. And then you just pop that on there. So what do you guys think? Isn't that so cute? Or like I said, you could put, you could put that world's best father there. I kind of thought I liked it down there better. So you can even still say hi, friend, right? Your dad's probably your friend too. Hi, friend, world's best father. Yeah, how about it? I bet any man would like to receive that card, right? World's best father. <laughs> okay, so that is card number one. I'm gonna scoot some stuff out of the way. Actually, have you guys been using your um, chamois? So I use mine all the time now. It's crazy how much I use this thing. So I'm gonna just do this real quick. You can see, obviously I use this a lot, right? And I do rinse it out every once in a while, even though it doesn't look like it, it retains all this color, right? Oops, and you can even, like I have a little bit of glue on there, you can just kind of use it like a little dish rag and wipe it right off. Okay, so let's get these babies back in here. Scoot them out of the way, all right? And let's get these things too. I'm trying to stay organized, ladies. The constant, constant struggle. Okay, and I think I told you guys about everything. I have a little um, list of notes here. But yep, hot air balloon punch and the above the cloud stamp set. Yeah, okay, good. And I will have all of the item codes and the product details on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. That happens this afternoon after Facebook Live is done. So if you wanna know the item code for the designer series paper, the stamp set, the Baker's Twine, any of those things, I will have those on there um, this afternoon. So keep an eye out for that, okay? Makes it quick and easy to order if you are so inclined to do that. Um, okay, so, all right, I think I'm good. <laughs> I feel a little bit organized now. Thank you, uh, Nikki. I I appreciate that. I love this stamp set. It's been so much fun and the punch to play with. Um, and hello, Miss Vina. How are you doing today? Okay, so next project. Mm. Actually, before I show you that, right, I have more. I want to show you. Um, yeah, I liked how this one worked this time. So we're going to do this again, okay, where I show you the project that we are going to make. And then I'm going to show you my swaps and the paper. Okay, so yeah, I gotta talk myself through that. So this is the next card that I'm gonna show you guys how to make. And this is so cool, right? Check out how that opens. Isn't that fun? It's like a little additional flap there. So much fun, oh my gosh, I love. And this is what I was saying by like, okay, the bird stamp, it's kind of cute, but I wasn't overly drawn to it, but I had to have those stitched nested labels dies. Now though, I'm gonna show you my swaps and I think you're gonna understand um, why I fell in love with the stamp set too. Um, so actually, let me show you. So again, in our catalog, if I couldn't remember the name of the stamp set, I could flip through my bundles right here and where was it yep here right here it's fun because then they even put the picture of the project so you can find oh yeah there's that bird stamp set it's called free as a bird 
And then you also get the stitched nested labels dies in the bundle. So on page 91, so if we flip over to page 91, here's this beautiful, isn't that gorgeous? That sweet, oh my, yeah. It makes you really fall in love. Those cute little, the chubby, don't you? It's like you wanna tickle their belly, the chubby little birds there. <laughs> Oh, Mina, you're waiting to get a massage. That is awesome. Good for you. What a great thing to do on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> Very fun. Um, okay, so yeah, back to Bird Ballad Suite. So another one of those where you can get the full suite with one item code. This one is $94.75. And you get so much stuff. It's crazy. You get the Free as a Bird stamp set, the stitched nested labels dies, the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper. I'm going to show you that in just a sec. Um, the Bird Ballad Laser Cut Cards and Tin. I'm really curious about those, mainly because I really want to know about the tin. <laughs> and then some scalloped lace trim and some Bird Ballad Trinkets. You can also get the bundle with just the stamp set and the frame or the dies, um, and that's listed right there too. And then here's some more. So here is that Free as a Bird stamp set and then the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper. Oh, check that out, right? And I love the flowers. I've been using, so I have to put this down so I can point. I've been using these flowers like crazy. There's just something so pretty about those flowers. And then the pretty, the, not pretty, they're chubby. They're like chubby little birds right there too. <laughs> and yes, Philomena, the DSP is gorgeous. I'm gonna show you guys that in just a sec. So, okay, let's, um, yeah, let's look at the cards first. So these are more of the, so fabulous swaps that I received. So check this one out. Isn't this so cute? It's like a little, actually, I'm going to set these down so I can hold on to things here. So there we go. So the beautiful designer series paper, that's one of my favorite patterns in that paper. And she kind of did some really pretty shading back in there too. And then the fun coloring. What blows me away is that people did all this coloring on their swaps. Like I think we made like 20 or so swaps. So she was coloring a lot. Maybe she had help. Who knows? This is Miss Linda Bowen. Oh, so, so, isn't that gorgeous? And even that's some of the Magnolia Lane. There's a ribbon combo pack. So this is some of, I think it's Mossy Meadow, um, kind of linen thread there. And then there's another really pretty one, um, kind of a natural color. Maybe there's a card with it. I don't know, but let's see. Here's another one. Those are those cute flowers that I was talking about. The world needs more of you. And then again, look at, she cut all, she colored and cut all of that out because there is not a framelit that cuts those birds out. So don't be deceived. She did a ton of work on this card. And then with that pretty, that is, what's that ribbon called? I have it, but I haven't even opened it yet. Isn't that crazy? Yep, the scalloped lace trim is that ribbon right there. Isn't that beautiful? Some of the designer series paper. And then she used some of the stitched, um, or no, the layered, what are those called? The layering circle dies. Sorry, <laughs> I have in a moment. And she used some sequins too. You gotta use sequins, right? And then this card was from Amy Combs. Okay, and then more beautiful, beautiful cards here. This fun thank you. Love this ribbon. Um, I have the name of that on the bolt. I'll tell you that in a sec because I can't recall. I am pretty sure this is on back order already. We must have just sold it like crazy. It's um, coming, I think it said June 24th or so. So don't worry. You know, go ahead, put your order in. That'll just be on back order and it'll ship to you as soon as it comes in. So they're working hard to, um, you know, get current on any of the products that are on back order. We'll get those as soon as we can. Love the embossing though, and then more of the pretty designer series paper. And I love how she did that just perfectly, right? With that little birdie right there. She did a really good job lining that up too. And that one is from Ruth Bingle, okay? Then, oh my gosh, look at, th there's something about, like I said, those chubby little birds. Aren't they so cute? She did some more beautiful coloring there. And then here you can get a little bit better idea of that lace. Um, again, what's that called? Scalloped lace trim. That's what this is right here. So another pretty, you can just kind of see the scallop edge on there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. She used the texture embossing folder there too and then kind of stamped tone on tone. Very, very pretty. This one is from Sandy Carlson. 
so cute right and then the last one i loved these feathers too isn't that cool so you can see how you know when we buy the um, bundle the stamp set and the dies a lot of people end up using like most of these used those stitched nested labels dies right so there's this one oh and she used one of those little trinkets I think those are the frosted flower trinkets. That's what I was giving away with last month's online orders. And then another, your friendship means the world to me. So you can see you can um, die cut those teeny tiny um, stitched nested labels. I have a poor connection. Okay, sorry, I think that blanked out for a sec. We're gonna keep on going. And this one was from Sanda, Sandra Hernandez. So cute. Oh, all just beautiful. So, I mean, seriously, if you didn't think you liked birdies, this is kind of what I was. <laughs> I think you're gonna love them now, right? Like check out all the fun designer series paper and those cute little chubby birdies, right? So, okay. Oh, I wanna show you the paper. I, I kinda showed you on these cards, but let's take another quick flip through. And I can't remember, I've used quite a bit of this paper. Oh yeah, now I know. Hey Susie, how are you doing? So the one I've used a ton of is the stripey paper because I used it on my swaps. So that piece right there. So the stripes are on one side. And then the, these are big birds on this side, right? So there's that pattern. Then we have the kind of flying, are those birds or seagulls? With this is the paper that I used, this side right here on the card, right? And then some more, maybe we'll go this way. You can see those pretty, isn't that beautiful? So soft and feminine, I think. And then I used a bunch of, those are polka dots. Well, let's see. You know what, we just have to open it up, don't we, like I did before. Okay, so the birds, there, now I'm going the right way. So we got birds on that side, and then some polka dots, and you can kind of see, um, it's not uniform, I guess is the way to put that, right? It's, it's kind of sketchy there. Beautiful floral paper here, and then, oh, these are keys. Can you see? Teeny tiny little, like maybe like garden gate keys, that's what they are, right? Some fun feathers over here. The colors are so pretty in here. And then some bird cages. This is that paper that we used on the card. I'm gonna show you guys in just a sec. And then here are those flying birds or seagulls. And then this is, I love this paper. Isn't that so pretty? Love the birds. <laughs> yes, Vina. And then um, the back side. And I was, these um, kind of look like flying, teeny tiny little flying birds, I guess. I don't know, I was kind of trying to figure out what those were. Um, but that's what I'm thinking, little teeny tiny flying birds. So beautiful, the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper. And I think you guys know this, but I just wanna make sure because somebody commented about how they loved, you know, how well everything coordinated. It was on a project that I posted and I thought, oh my gosh, I hope everybody knows that Stampin' Up! does this huge favor for us and tells us the colors in the Designer Series paper so that I can build my card very easily, right? So we, I used Petal Pink card base and then Pool Party because those are the colors in here in that designer series paper. And I know that because in super teeny tiny print, it tells me, I don't even think, I don't have my glasses, but Basic Black, Basic Gray, Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Crumb Cake, Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Smoky Slate, Soft Suede, Whisper White. Usually it's not quite that many colors, but it tells you right on there. So you can, in terms of a card base, grab whatever color you think works best with the designer series paper that you pick and work away. So that's truly the beauty of Stampin' Up! products is that they help you with that color coordination with the paper and the ink and in this case, the Stampin' Blends markers. So, okay, let's get to it, ladies. Are we ready? to make our card. Oh, and I have to tell you guys, so this is that ribbon that I mentioned. Um, it is called, this is Petal Pink. Mm -hmm. Where is it? They're in all these different languages. Organdy Striped Ribbon. So Petal Pink Organdy Striped Ribbon. Isn't that beautiful? I want them to come out with this in more colors. <laughs> I played with this and I was like, oh, I love this ribbon. It is beautiful. Super soft and feminine floaty, airy, gorgeous ribbon. Okay, so let me see. Oh, I do have to tell you guys too, I cased this card as well. This one I saw, I'm trying to remember, I was looking at somebody's blog 
and there was a link too. So this is from Beth at stampingmom.com, stampingmom.com. Beth um, had made this card a little while back and I was like, okay, I can't come up with anything better. This is so cool. Plus I loved how she did this. So I wanna show you guys how to do that too, right? Okay, so dimensions first, I'll give you those because this is a little bit different. So our card base, it kind of started out as, actually it kind of goes like that way to get my score marks the same, right? So we had a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I cut it down to 10 and one quarter inches. So I just cut three quarters of an inch off the end of my, of my cardstock, right? Then I cut it in half along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter, like I always do. And again, along this 10 and one quarter inch side, I still scored it at five and a half inches. So that all stayed the same, okay? So this is what you're gonna start with. This is your card base to begin with right here. So it just got that little flap, three quarters of an inch cut off right there, okay? Then we have pieces of pool party cardstock. This is the one that goes inside the card. So this one is my standard four by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then on the outside of the card, pool party again, four by four and a half. And then this is that beautiful, look at the branches, pretty floral. Um, designer series paper that measures three and three quarters by four and one quarter. So that's just a quarter of an inch smaller, okay? So this one is gonna go on the inside of the card, and this one is gonna go on the outside of the card, like that, okay? Then, these are all, actually there is one more that you need. This little piece right here is this piece and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. It's that piece right there, okay? So this is a strip that measures one inch by five and a half, and I scored it at two and a half inches. There's a little score mark right there. So that's gonna fold, and I'll show you how to put it together. I was gonna kind of show you now, but I'm gonna show you as we put things together. So, okay, let's do our die cutting first, because this is gonna be helpful with that little flap. So what I need to do is I'm gonna die cut one stitched nested label in the white and actually two in the petal pink because I want one here and then there's one on the back. So that strip kind of fits right in between those, okay? So that'll make a little more sense in just a sec. Let's do our die cutting. Okay. So bear with me because we're gonna have to make a couple runs through the big shot here. And here, I thought I didn't have, I mean, I kind of knew I had a lot to tell you guys about, but here it is, 1240 already, and I'm still working on this next card. But this is such a fun time of year. So many cute things to play with, right? Okay, so we've got our larger, oh, I should tell you guys too. Okay, so this is the largest label. This is the second largest that we're using on the petal pink, and then this is the third largest that we're going to use on the white. So these are the other sizes that are still remaining in there. So you can see those little teeny tiny ones there too. Okay, so we're gonna just die cut these guys. Okay, sorry, I know it wiggles. If I go slow, it like makes me really impatient. So <laughs> I have to go faster. Okay, so we're gonna scoot that guy off of there. We need this one now. We're gonna do one more of these label guys. Oops, that didn't catch. Okay, oh sorry, that's super wiggly. Okay, just turn your heads away for a sec if you're like feeling seasick. <laughs> I know it can happen. Okay, there's that. All right, let's get all of this out of the way. And let's see, oh, I've gotta grab, grab my blends too. Loved using all these different stamps also. So, okay, let's for kicks, let's stamp our birds, our bird, I guess I should say, and the branch. So I've got my black memento ink and I'm gonna ink up my bird first. And I feel like I don't have enough room. Let's see, we're gonna put him maybe right about there, okay? And then I need my little branch that he's kind of hanging out on. Put 
that right there. And then I need a little flower at the end. I'll put you right there. And this happened to me the last time. It's almost like my flower isn't quite attached. So I just grabbed my basic black marker and I just kind of added just a little bit of black because I was off a little bit on that one. But if you do that, then you couldn't even see it from there to here, but I saw it. So I think that's kind of a handy little tip. So just my basic black marker, I just kind of filled in where I didn't quite get my flower to the branch there, okay? So I wanna set this aside just for a sec and then we're gonna come back and color him. Um, actually, maybe we'll put everything together first and then we'll color. So on the inside, I had to do my stamping, the world needs more of you with that little pretty branch and then those flowers, I had to use those flowers. Okay, so the inside piece is this one right here, my larger pool party piece. Okay, so grab my black memento ink again. Make sure that I have that going the right way. Okay, so we've got the world needs more of you and kind of like those little leaves right there. And then my favorite, these teeny tiny little baby flowers. Let me show you these. I love these little guys. And then those little flowers there. Isn't that so cute? Look at those flowers. I love those. The fun little branch too, right? Okay, so let's put everything together and then we'll finish with our coloring with our blends. Okay, so actually we can put, ooh, 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 what do we wanna do? I have to think about how I did this. Okay, so we're actually gonna do these first. So let's do the outside because that'll get those out of my way, so that will be less confusing for me. Okay, so we're gonna put our designer series paper, putting our adhesive on our cardstock, and just move that around. If you don't press too hard, you can always pick it up and move it if it's not quite right where you want it. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some more my snail to put on the front of my card. Actually, I'm going to do this so that I can see where the end is. Otherwise, it was deceiving me with my pink layer underneath there. But there, that looks good. Okay, so we're going to add that all in. Now, for the inside, so that's going to go there, but this is the little piece that I want to we're gonna put this right here. So I wanna add a bunch of adhesive on the back of this guy. I want him to stick really well. And I thought it was almost, I'm trying to make sure, it was funny, I was just kinda of eyeballing, trying to make sure this is even from there to there. I think that looks pretty good. So we're gonna press firmly on that, okay? Now we're gonna add our inside piece. This is the pool party, the four by five and a quarter inch piece. And make sure it's not upside down. Look at those. We're gonna put this one right inside here. And then this piece is gonna help hold that little flap in place as well, okay? So we've got that one right there. Now we are gonna do this one and then that one goes there, right? Then I just kind of placed this about where I wanted it to end up on the card itself, okay? So I'm kind of eyeballing, I don't want that to go much past that point. So I wanna add, this is where we need to add quite a bit of adhesive to make sure this thing, make sure it's kind of even that point is about in the middle. And you know, you're, you're probably not even gonna notice if it's not totally perfect there because there's so many other details to be paying attention to. Oopsie daisy, you don't really wanna do that. You wanna try not to do that, I'll say. Now, this was the cool thing. When I saw her card, I was like, oh, that's kind of ugly. And when she opened hers up, you didn't see that because she cut another one and put it over there too. So it looks really nice and finished when you open that one up. Rosemary, you're back. Good to have you back. Hopefully that car is not gonna take too much to get fixed. So I'm just adding adhesive there and then this one we're just gonna layer right over top. Make sure it's all good. There we go. Okay, now we are gonna do our coloring. 
on our little birdie and make sure now these are light very very pale shades of your Stampin' Blends but you always want to make sure you have something a work surface to be um, on your table so things don't bleed through okay so I use this is my pool party my light pool party and I just kind of I like in that little circular motion because I want this to look fairly washed on here I don't want it to be too perfect I guess because it looks a little like watercolor he doesn't and then I just put a little bit of blue shading on his legs he maybe has blue legs I don't know is that weird and then we're gonna color his beak this is my super my very very light this is light petal pink and we're also gonna color his belly I'm gonna use the fat end on this one I use the actually you probably can use the fat end there too at first I use the skinny tip because his beak is so little but I think we're okay there right and then also on my flower, we're gonna use a little petal pink there, okay? Then, these are my soft seafoam blends, and I started with the light, and I thought maybe that doesn't have quite enough color to it. So I did some with the light, and then I went back with my dark soft seafoam, and I just kinda added a little bit more and you can see how I'm not trying to be perfect there that is what's so cool because this paper kind of looks very kind of washed as well um, oh I'm missing some comments let's see oh okay next week it's gonna be done that's good that's very good Rosemary okay so now we are gonna put that piece right on there and where did, where's my adhesive it's like literally right here so can you see, so this one, even though it's those are pretty pale shades, it does kind of bleed through. So always make sure you have a work surface to be working on. Okay. And then put this one right down there. Okay. Now the last set, my most favorite part is this ribbon. The beautiful petal pink, what did I call it again? The <laughs> organdy striped ribbon. Petal pink organdy striped ribbon. And we are just gonna basically tie a knot around this little flap. And you do have to tie it two times because I tried it once and it. you see how it just comes right apart. So we're gonna, actually I want a little bit more and I'm keeping it on the bolt so that I make sure I have enough to work with, so I'm going to tie it in basically a double knot right on there and grab my scissors and that. If you want to pull it a little bit tighter, you can, but look at that. Hi, Jen. How are you? Big recital weekend for you guys, too. Oh, I hope it's a good weekend for everybody. Uh, okay, so here, this is the second card that I wanted to show you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed both of these cards, right? These and where are the other ones? Here we go, right here. Hopefully you enjoyed those projects with all the fun new product on them. So if you're new to Facebook Live, I just want to make sure to point out that with at least a $30 online order by next Wednesday, you're going to get one of each of these cards that we demonstrated today. And your name is going to go in the drawing to win a package of the In Color Designer Series paper, right? And then if you bump your order up to $50, my free embellishment for June is a package of the In Color Faceted Dots. So lots and lots of good stuff to give away to whoever the winner is. And everybody's a winner, right? When you get the projects and the um, freebie in the mail. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these projects. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Um, say a prayer for Lily that everything goes well uh, at recital up on stage. I think she's got eight or nine dances, so she's going to be doing lots of dancing this weekend. And I'll be being in the crowd in the proud mom uh, role. So thank you guys so much. You guys have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you next Friday. Bye, everybody. Thank you.